The very first Three Rivers Hospital was housed in the Bonnie Castle, going all the way back to 1915. However, in 1923, a fund drive was started to build the new Three Rivers Hospital, and construction was completed in May of 1925. When first established, the city of Three Rivers owned the hospital and handled the operations and budget while the hospital board took care of the staffing. As the community grew, so did the hospital with additions in 1950, 1955, and eventually 1959, housing 94 beds. The first half of the 1980s were challenging for the hospital during a severe recession, with three different interim administrators and 39 indefinite layoffs. But midway through the decade, things were looking up. In 1985, a groundbreaking ceremony was held at 111 West Broadway, now 701 South Health Parkway, for the brand new $10 million hospital building. In 1987, the hospital closed permanently as the construction of the new hospital began. As we enter the old building, I remind everybody of the structural flaws. Careful, care really? careful, dude. Careful, careful with the glass, glass dude. There's dead. glass. And careful about the ceilings, guys. And look at the floor, it's dilapidated. Yes, watch your steps. My good friend Dom grows tired of my cautions. Hello! Dom. Watch your steps, guys. Another group of individuals also appears to be inside the building. It's a Russian spy. <laughs> oh. You guys want to come into the basement? Oh, we're going to get there. After trying to coax us into the basement, we decide to move along. The loud noises you begin to hear are the other people that are also in the building throwing things around and also destroying things, I assume. At this point, we stumble upon what is where maybe they kept the newborns, possibly the pediatric ward. It's very old-timey. It's got that older feel to it. The artwork is pretty amazing, actually, but also creepy. Mickey, yeah, I think you found a creepy one too. Look at this room. No, this room is creepy. Jam, maybe like, that's Russ. Stay right behind me, man. Is that another one that's up for the elevator? Inside. Ew. Play with my puss. Inside. Let's see. What? What's up? Alright, it's all funny games so you probably can start finding skeletons. Oh, what? No, I'm just saying. Is that 
Is that the elevator? Yeah. No, we go around it. So that's the elevator. Much of the building had been picked dry by scrappers trying to look for copper or any other precious metals that might be in the vicinity. Maybe some relics from the hospital. Ooh, yeah, reach in there. Okay, so I think you're going to Oh, no, not that. That's not the elevator. We came across what appeared to be an old electric panel. It was very rusty, but it said Electra Center on it. I assumed that if there were any electrical problems at any point in the building, this would be the go-to place. Pretty cool. From a distance, it actually appeared to be in person like some large master switch, almost identical to one you'd pull if you were going to execute somebody in an electric chair. But a closer look revealed that it was an electric panel. The Electra Center also resides next to what seemed to be cock and balls. Shit. It's a good view. Although too dark to film, I will state there was a courtyard outside with old benches, a pond, probably for the patients there in their leisure time to kind of get out and get some fresh air. Very, very eerie to see at night and actually very large. No tagging allowed, death penalty. Let's <laughs> get the shit. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Back to ground zero. Looking out the window. This way. This is the way. Yeah. Yeah. This is the way. Yeah. This is the way. Not to mention, the hospital is like right in the middle of the town. There's houses surrounding the entire thing. It just gives off a, an odd vibe. The premises of the building itself are actually were quite large. There is a lot of room to kind of walk around if you needed to clear your head or anything. The city of Three Rivers wins a prestigious grant that will help renovate an historic hospital into a state-of-the-art residential community. News Channel 3 today talked to city leaders about what this means for the local economy. This historic building has been sitting near the St. Joseph River in the city of Three Rivers since 1927. It was used as a hospital for over 60 years until it was abandoned in 1987. The city manager says for years developers looked at the building but nothing happened. I jerk off here a lot. The president of the Three Rivers Area Chamber of Commerce tells us that a developer near Detroit has plans to renovate this building into student housing or condos and townhomes for professionals. <coughs> there is Bullshit. a lack of housing available for people who come into the community who are new with a company. We have a, a large employment base here that is in uh, manufacturing as well as ag and other uh, working professionals. And we would like to retain them here to live, not just to work. Three Rivers is one of 50 communities nationwide that received a $50,000 check from the America's Best Communities Competition for its plans to revitalize this hospital. Make trillions when we could make billions. Effect. St. Joseph County officials tell us it would boost the tax base and attract families to West Michigan. You know, it's just a point of pride, you know, anytime that you can restore uh, a part of our past and, you know, bring it back to its, its glory would be really neat. And what's good for Three Rivers is great for the county. And Three Rivers city officials say community involvement is key in becoming a finalist for that grant money. People are now encouraged to like the city's Facebook page and to get involved with any upcoming events involving that hospital project. Sorry. 
$100 billion. Oh. Gentlemen, silence. In 2015, they claim they got a large grant to fix the property up and turn it into some type of apartment complex. However, even when we were there examining the property at night, we saw there were brand new trucks there, which was bizarre. Brand new trucks, but it appears that no work was being done. I mean, clearly the building is defunct. I mean, it's, the building is, it needs to be destroyed. There's some fishy things going on over at Three Rivers Old Hospital. There's no doubt about that. Gentlemen, my name is Dr. Evil. In a little while, you'll notice that the Kreplakistani warhead has gone missing. If you want it... Really? So long.